Hey yo what's up, Maja here and welcome to another Wednesday Night Review and today we are doing a triple shot reaction. So yeah, we are not just checking out one, not just two, but we are checking out three MVs today and they're all from Chu. So we are going to be checking out Strawberry Rush, which is her latest comeback, and then Honeybee which is, I think, a B-side from uh, the Strawberry Rush album. And then, finally, apparently there was also an MV that I missed from the first album. So, yeah. Um, it's entitled Hitchhiker. So, we are also going to check that out. So, yeah. We are going to be catching up with True today. So, let's start things off with Strawberry Rush. Here we go. Nice hat. Oh, <laughs> giant strawberry. Oh. Oh, the friends from... How are you? We have quite a bit of animation here. Oh. Oh. oh, this is fun. We have rapper too. Oh, this sounds so good. Wow. This is so fun. <laughs> the vocal on this chorus is so amazing. Oh, true 12. Nice. Strawberry Rush Race. Wow. Okay, so that was Chu with Strawberry Rush. And that was such a fun song. And I think that must have been so much fun for her to shoot as well. And I like, I, I really love the playfulness of, well, True here in the MV. It's like, it's, yeah, it's basically like uh, True's natural cheerfulness and playfulness dialed up to 11. 
and <laughs> oh man you also got a bit of like playful rapper true <laughs> don't often get to to see that but going into the chorus like her voice sounds so 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 clear so warm and it's just like it's magical and like oh. there's also quite a lot of animations going on it just made the MV a whole lot more fun but like uh, in the center of it all mainly it's it's it is you know true bring it bringing it with those wonderful expressions of hers so yeah such a fun mv from true anyways uh let's move on to the second one shall we this one is honey bee okay uh Okay, we have a bit more of an acoustic sound. Facial expressions, but it's a quite a different vibe here. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, I love this. Those vocals. Awesome. Oh wow. Okay. First of all, both Strawberry Rush and Honeybee will make it to my daily playlist. No question about it. However, I think I think I'm also going to be putting Honeybee onto my jamming playlist. It's so good. Okay. Um for those who may or may not know, there's like one of the criteria, or not not really criteria, one of the indications to me of a song that's really, really, really like in my, what I call my preference zone. Okay. What, one of the indicators for that is like a song that tickles me musically. Like really, really tickles me. And Honeybee 
pulse. Whew. Uh, just like straight into that category. And it's just such like it's 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 just such fun musically. Like Str Strawberry Rush was just really fun overall. Honeybee is just like, like it's I don't know, it's like Like my ears have gone to heaven or something like that. I, that's that's a weird, weird uh expression, but yeah. That that is a wonderful B side from True. A honey B side. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I <laughs> Never mind that joke. Anyways. So yeah, love choose honeybee. Now we're going to go back in time. This one is, it says like eight months ago. So yeah, I, I missed it from the first album. So yeah, like from the first album we were able to check out Howl and Underwater. But apparently we missed Hitchhiker. So that's what we're going to check out now. And let's see what's going on there, shall we? There's no subtitles on this one. Anyways. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the vibe of this is more in line with the first album. Very cool. Dream. Oh. 
that was just really, 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 really amazing. I suddenly feel like I want to mash that up with Pale Blue Dot from Luna. Okay, so yeah, the, the vibe of Hitchhiker is, is definitely more in line with uh, the first album. Like, uh, it's somehow like more on the playful side, but yeah, kind of still keeping in line with the vibes of like Underwater and Howl. A lot more so with Howl. But yeah, like that 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 was a really really great track. Definitely going on my daily playlist as well. It was ticklish, but not quite ticklish enough to make it to my jamming playlist though. But definitely on my daily playlist. But who knows? Like there are some songs that like I listen to on my daily playlist that you know, eventually make its way onto my jamming playlist. So this is definitely defi this song definitely has that potential. Like it's just again another indicator of songs that would fit in my pre preference zone is that this is not heavy. Actually, it's the opposite. It's very light. So. I like the the balance of my songs to kind of lean that way. Actually, I I, I kind of tend to uh, not like heavy songs as much. So yeah, this this is a wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Uh, B-side for the the Howl album. And this just goes to show like the True is such such a force right now as a solo artist. Because she she's basically like She's this amazing, amazing vocalist, but she also has this really fun personality that just shines through the screen. And you can't help but be drawn to it. It's, there's nothing quite like the, the energy that Chu gives off. And uh, having you know seen a lot of content with True over the years, it's like she has quite the amount of energy as well. Like it's it's hardly ever that you see True like down. I mean there are times, but but mostly that bright and bubbly and energy of hers that is like just natural to her it's not like uh, other artists who like just uh, have to hype themselves up before uh, uh, performing like for true it just it's a natural flow of this really bright uh really bright personality of hers. Oh, so, wow. So that was a really, really wonderful and productive catch-up session uh, with these three MVs from True. And yeah, we'll be looking forward to more in the future. But uh, until then, uh, yeah, that's it for this particular action. Uh, so let's wrap it up right here. So.
don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon, where I also post reactions to longer form content for casual content, most of which is available for free. You can probably see the titles pop up here on the side. There's also some bonus perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe, such as access to my K-drama and anime reactions, which, incidentally, you can also access for free for 7 days, as that is tier 1 of my Patreon, and it has a 7-day free trial, so you might want to, well, try that out. Also, higher tiers of my Patreon get various levels of early access, depending on the tier, as well as priority when it comes to recommendations. But don't get too fussed about all that, like I said, most of the stuff on my Patreon is available for free, so don't be afraid to check it out, the link to my Patreon is in the description down below as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate and access the said free content on my Patreon. So you might want to start with that first. The link to that is also in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, magical and wonderful journey with Chu. Until next time, have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.